Ukrainian forces fought back numerous attacks by Moscow's troops in the east of the country as Russians targeted a hospital in the Zaporizhia region with artillery fire over the past 24 hours. The general staff of the Ukrainian military said on December 22, the Ukrainian military repelled attacks in 16 locations in the eastern Donetsk and Luhansk regions, the general staff said. Выстрел! Bakhmut and Avdiivka, where the fiercest battles have been fought in recent months, were again targeted by the Russian forces, which also launched attacks on other locations in Donetsk. Including Soledar and Yakovlyivka, while in the Luhansk region, the settlements of Novoselyevsky and Stelmakhivka were among those hit. In the Zaporizhia region, Russian forces struck a hospital in Huliaipol, the Ukrainian military said, but there were no immediate reports of casualties. The Ukrainian forces struck Russian positions with war planes and artillery, the general staff said, adding that it shot down three Russian unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV. During the past 24 hours, the air forces carried out 14 strikes on areas of concentration of Russian personnel, weapons, and military equipment. Our defenders shot down an enemy UAV of the four-post type and two more of the Lancet III type, the military said. The claims could not be independently verified, meanwhile, the Ukrainian electricity grid operator. Ukrenerho, reported a significant power shortage and restrictions caused by relentless missile and drone attacks. Russia has been targeting power infrastructure and other civilian objectives in Kyiv and other parts of the country with swarms of kamikaze drones as part of an apparent strategy to try to freeze Ukrainians and demoralize the population. On December 21, during a landmark visit by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Washington, U.S. President Joe Biden announced a new $1.85 billion security assistance package for Ukraine that includes a Patriot air defense battery, one of the most advanced systems of its kind. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the system is capable of bringing down cruise missiles, short-range ballistic missiles, and aircraft at a significantly higher ceiling than previously provided air defense systems. However, it remained unclear when the much-needed Patriot battery would arrive on the front lines in Ukraine, since Ukrainian forces must undergo training in order to learn how to operate it. The training, expected to take place in Germany, could take several months, the Pentagon said on December 21. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shigu visited army units fighting in Ukraine, the Defense Ministry said on December 22. It said Shigu inspected Russian units deployed to the area of the special military operation, using Moscow's description of Russia's war in Ukraine. The ministry said Shigu checked the conditions of the deployment of personnel and military equipment and inspected the conditions of accommodation and heating for troops, as well as the preparation and reception of food. It did not say what area Shigu had visited. The Biden administration on December 21st unveiled new curbs on technology exports to Russia's Wagner military group, in a bid to further choke off supplies to the contractor over its role in the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Wagner group, which was added to a trade blacklist in 2017 after Russia annexed Ukraine's Crimea region, 